okay welcome to this quick uh, tutorial on the relationship of uh, RGB to uh, HSV so in here you can see the hues just like on this slider so to get this pure hues the amount of red is like this so there's a lot of red until it hits yellow it goes down it goes zero here when it hits green then it goes up after blue goes up then hit here magenta where there is equal amount of blue and equal amount of red and for the color red no the color green is is zero at green increase to full at yellow so it is full here for this color then it goes full until you see cyan then it goes down to zero when it reach blue here and then there is one more this blue this blue starts from where it is pure green it moves up to here when it reach cyan and goes down when it start to see uh, rich magenta and then it's gone when it hits red and then there is another thing is uh, the this arrow when you lower the situation what happens what is the what happens to the uh, red green and blue let's see that here inside blender okay this is a uh, uh, super huge ui so that you can see what is happening okay let's try pure green the first thing i want to show you is when i move this hue from here to here the pro the portion of uh, uh, one color to another so from green moving towards red when they are equal amount it becomes yellow and it, it goes slow uh, the green is lesser so from here green is going low 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 until it's gone at red so your orange color here orange hue or actually is red with a little bit of green so your yellow is actually a lot of red and a lot of green okay it's the same on this side blue going to magenta so it's equal amount at magenta is uh, there's lesser red when it's going inside to the blue region it's the same here so this is a lot of blue there's a little bit of red there's a lot of red and then there is equal amount of red you get the cyan and then when it moves to pure green the blue just going low so that is the what i'm showing you just now what happened when you have a color that is lower in value like this but you are trying to move it in the hue okay like now i'm moving it here you can see that the maximum here still 616 uh, okay let's I, let me try move it here again still green is still 0616 so this is the maximum uh, value for green okay this is uh, the va uh, value set, uh, relationship okay and then what about saturation saturation is this slider what happened if we change that so we know that the maximum of this here is uh, 0.616 if we lower this you see the red and blue emerge and then when I hit it become white it max out at 616 so let me step back a few steps here it is actually like this if it's 
when you lower the saturation, you are increasing the other two value until it hits that the value that it has, it reached there at the same time when it reached there is no small saturation. Uh, it's the same here. For example, this is the maximum uh, value that we can hit 0 0.355. Is going with we this lower the saturation you can see that green and red is moving towards 0 0.355 see here uh, red is starting early uh, and red is starting late uh, green is early but they arrive at the same time uh, if it, it, it hits uh, this uh, value, uh, this uh, zero saturation, and then for value, value is actually how many, how many this and this, the ratio of here, this here, the ratio of. Uh, if we put it pure, pure tech, uh, hue, we can see that the portion, the ratio between red and blue is always the same until it's maximum, because it is a mixture between how many red and how many uh, how many green and how many blue. That is that is a uh, value. I'm just scrolling my mouse here to 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 show you this. So that's basically the relationship between HSV and uh, uh, RGB and to get to more info of, uh, and learn about the colors and the relationship and how to control it uh, technically you as a start you use uh, this book Pixel Math uh, this is uh, this teach you how to control color using a, a basic uh, a, operation like uh, plus minus multiply addition and subtraction then if you want a lot more on the artistic side of the color you get this uh, soul string digital color mastery ebook and this one is uh, just give you a lot of things that you can from h1 h2 you can directly use in your artwork so you don't have to actually master the whole book to actually use something from it you uh, every chapter you, you will give you the uh, the challenges uh, so that you can make sure that you really understand uh, the uh, the topic and then you can directly apply the topic you don't have to master everything and it will change your life for sure because this will give you a fresh eye to to see how this uh, color, uh, how color works, and uh, not only just vibrant but more meaningful.